conducting research. In this video, we're going to learn about previous close price, 52 week or year long range, PE ratio, beta, reading charts, trends analysis, and company news. Let's research a company together. You may have heard of one I'm thinking of, Netflix. To find a company's stock quote, you'll need to research the company on a financial news and information site like Yahoo Finance. Start typing in the company name and make sure you select the correct ticker symbol. This will bring you to the company's stock quote. Key information to analyze in a stock quote is previous close, 52 week range, PE ratio, beta, charts, and company news. Previous close is the stock's closing price from the previous trading day. Remember, stock market trading hours are Monday to Friday, 9.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. As you can see, Netflix's current price is $466.93 per share, but its previous close price was $483.38 per share. Did Netflix's stock go up or down? You can see that Yahoo Finance does the math for you. It has the stock prices change and percent change since its previous close next to the current stock price. Now, let's look at the 52 week range. There's about 52 weeks in one year, so this is sometimes referred to as the year long range. The 52 week range is the highest price and the lowest price of the stock over a 52 week period. Where does the current stock price fall in this range? Towards the bottom, top, or right in the middle? Do you think the stock price is peaking, the highest it will be, or do you think it will grow? You can also get a visual representation of the stock's performance by looking at a chart. You can change the date range from one day to five days, all the way to one year and five years. Now, when thinking about these questions, is the stock peaking or will it grow? You want to scroll down to see if the company has been in the news lately. Does Netflix have any new movies, shows, or new features coming out soon? Do you think the season of the year or holidays affect its price? Are there any new or existing streaming services that have cut into Netflix's earnings, also known as profit? These are all important factors to analyze. A company's P.E. ratio, or price to earnings ratio, is a measure of its stock price relative to its earnings, or profit. P.E. ratio equals stock price divided by earnings. A company's earnings report tells you how the company is performing. A P.E. ratio tells you how investors think the company is performing. In other words, how much they are willing to pay for a dollar's worth of its earnings. It's important to compare P.E. ratios from companies in the same industry. For example, tech or healthcare. Also note that low or high P.E. ratios can mean a range of things. A low P.E. can indicate that investors are selling their shares, driving the stock price down. A low P.E. can also indicate if a company is undervalued, meaning their earnings are growing quickly before investors notice, buy shares, and drive the stock price up. A high P.E. can indicate that investors are buying shares, but the company hasn't produced higher earnings yet. Investors may think that the company will grow in the future. A high P.E. can also indicate if a company is overvalued. Beta measures volatility, rapid or unexpected change as compared to the overall stock market. The overall market has a beta of one. So if a stock has a beta of less than one, it's considered less volatile than the overall market. If a company has a beta greater than one, it's considered more volatile than the overall market. As of today, Netflix has a beta of 0.94, which is very close to one, the volatility of the overall market. Questions to consider. What do you think is the most important part of analyzing a stock quote? Previous close, 52 week range, PE ratio, or beta. Explain why. Brainstorm five companies you're interested in investing in. Thank you for watching.